Each day across western New York, families are dealing with the unsolved murders of their loved ones. This includes the Halloween killing of a young man from Depew nearly 40 years ago. Here's two on your sides, Leanne Stuck with this week's Unsolved. Tonight's Unsolved Crime takes us to Ransom Road in Lancaster, where in 1982, nearly 37 years ago, a young man was killed while leaving a Halloween party. 18-year-old James Adamski was a senior at Depew High School. From all accounts that we're aware of, he was a super friendly guy, well liked in high school. On October 31st, 1982, he put on a costume and went out for Halloween to a bar on the corner of Transit Road and Walden Avenue in Depew. Investigators believe at the end of the night, he decided to walk home. He was walking with this girl uh, down transit and then they split ways and he continued to walk down transit and then she went her, her other way. But Adamski never made it home that night. The girl he was with was the last person to see him. Police ruled her out as a suspect. Two months later, on December 26, 1982, hunters found his remains just miles away from where he went missing, on Ransom Road. Uh, it's right near a rail, railroad track there, and it was, it was, it was off the road. <clears throat> it was in a kind of a wooded area. Uh, the body was found in a shallow grave with twigs and, and leaves on top of it. He was beaten. The official cause of death was blunt force trauma. Police interviewed hundreds of people, but each lead went cold and no one was ever arrested. The two strongest theories that occurred here are one, something happened in that bar, or two, a random hitchhiker or person driving a car picked him up. Fast forward to 2017. Lancaster police wanted this case brought back into the spotlight. And they decided to use that $10,000 uh, for reward money for information about this homicide. However, two years later, that money has not helped investigators crack the case. Unfortunately, we've, uh, we've only had two uh, leads since 2017, and you know both of those leads didn't really go anywhere. His mother and father have both since passed away, and you know while they were living, they were never given closure. We want the family to know that in no uncertain terms, the case will remain open until we find the person responsible for this. With this unsolved, I'm Leanne Stuck.